Hello, I'm Laura Jackson and I am the Creative Director of Glasset and I am here to answer all of your interior questions. Today we are talking about lighting. Lighting can really transform a room. I think it's really great to layer your lighting, so think about your pendants, your ball lights, floor lights table lights and then think about what bulbs you're putting in them to create the most ambient lighting possible for your room. Think about if you want to create any focal points or focal areas with your lighting. So for instance, over the mantelpiece, your bedside lights to frame your bed, over a photograph or if you've got any spotlights in the kitchen where you want to kind of zone in areas, think about where you want to put your lighting and why. If you are renovating and not decorating, thinking about dimmers, lights on a dimmers are really important and using five amp sockets so that you can turn your lights on and off at the mains. You can also think about focal lighting. So is it a really big pendant, a big paper light, or for instance, a big French chandelier that really draws your eye to that one light in the room? I think candles are such a great way of adding atmosphere into a room. These can be tea lights, scented candles, taper lights, but think of a variation of heights and colors, and you can really play around with these and move them around the room as and when you wish. I think a lamp in the kitchen turns the space from something that's quite utilitarian with sharp edges to something that's a bit softer and a bit more beautiful and a bit more like a room in the house. I don't think that people necessarily think about the kitchen as a room. It's kind of, it's a place where you cook and you eat. So adding in a light makes it more personal. It takes it from somewhere that's quite utilitarian to something that feels a bit more cozy and a bit more like a living room. When you've got a low ceiling, it's about using all of the other surfaces to light the room. So can you put lights on the walls floor lamps, table lamps. It's about using interesting ways to layer your lighting, but without having something that is overhead. You don't want anything that is large or that hangs down like a pendant, because otherwise it will feel too intrusive and make the room feel a lot smaller than it actually is. Spotlights are a hard one because they can be quite small and quite bright, creating a clinical light, which is absolutely not what we want in our homes to feel like we're in a dentist's waiting room. I think there's so many different options now that are on the market. SCP have some great ceramic options and thinking about using frosted glass balls, Floss do some really good ones to kind of create that spotlight effect without having the clinical lighting. This is by far the most asked question over in our Glasset direct messages. What lampshade do I put with what lamp base? I think first and foremost, check the sizes. So how big is the shade? And what do we recommend that you put it with in terms of size of the base? Proportions and scale are really important. There's no point in having an oversized lampshade with a really small base and vice versa. Then think about colors and the look that you want to create as well as where is it going. So for instance, we have like these shades would look and work really well on either of these lamp bases because we've thought about size, scale, proportion, as well as color, but these are contrasting. Whereas over here, we've gone for complementary. The lampshade is by Alice Palmer that is handmade in this beautiful stripe. And then we've got this lovely base by Compton Marbling. This lamp would be amazing for a kitchen or a living room, but it's far too big for a bedside table. So this is where scale really comes into play. And the white lamp over here, which is a Hannah Simpson lamp, is perfect for a bedside table. I think what's really interesting about different lamp shades and lamp bases is the opportunity to create your own silhouette. So, you know, you could go for something kind of tall and kind of skinny like this, or you could go for a bit more of a larger, wider silhouette. So maybe it's a parasol, for instance, at the top with your lampshade, and then you've got this big round ball at the bottom. But it's a real chance for you to kind of mix and match 
And also when you get bored or you want to kind of move on and try something new, you absolutely can. There are a few options when it comes to bedside lighting. If you've got lights either side of your bed, you probably don't want to go for something that's kind of too tall because otherwise it'll look quite chaotic. You probably want something that's quite small. And you need to think about what you're gonna be using that light for. I think it's always really nice to keep it quite cute on your bedside table. So thinking about the colored glass Murano lights or those little mushroom glass lights are always quite nice. Or maybe playing around with what materials that you can use. Is it a rattan lamp base? Is it a metal lamp base? Or you could even go for something really intricate and interesting, which is a laser cut lampshade, which I've seen on the market. And we've got one coming on Glass Air. So when you light it up, it creates these amazing shapes and shadows in the room. We have got some amazing lighting on Glass Air from handmade lampshades, amazing lamp bases, things that are a bit more morphic and art sculptory, like this little one from Hannah Simpson in the corner here. This paper pulp lamp by Pale Fire, which is so beautiful, and I absolutely love it in the orange, and it comes in this beautiful clove brown as well. Then we've got things like different textures, um, amazing colors. We've basically curated some of the best lighting on the market just for you guys. If you wanted something that was a bit more high street, we recommend Pookie or any of the kind of high street retailers. For something a bit more indulgent, we love Matilda Goad, Gong, Pinch and Jim Lawrence. For outdoors, Dyke and Dean. For vintage lighting, we love Gumtree, Vinteria, Facebook Marketplace and all of these other amazing places.